Thin or wide, bright or basic, a belt is an easy way to add polish to any outfit. Here with the latest in belt fashion is the owner of Seamless Clothing, Allison Myers. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. We're talking about a, a pretty tough accessory today because I think if you wear a belt incorrectly, it can really work against your outfit and actually make you look shorter or maybe a little bit heavier. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about some easy ways to work with some of this season's belts. Okay. Um, first, we're going to uh, be looking at our beautiful model Donna here. Um, thick belts are especially difficult to wear on people who are petite. So this is an easy way to wear it with the same color as the belt behind it as the backdrop. Okay. Now what we've done in this situation is we've actually pushed it to the top of the pencil skirt here to almost elongate her bottom half and look, make it make the skirt itself look a little bit more high-waisted than it is. As I said, this actually creates a very long, lean line from waist down. And this is also a great way to maybe take a lower-waisted pencil skirt that you might have in your closet and update the look um, because high-waisted skirts are very in this season without having to buy it. Now, how do you keep it in place, though? Uh, you don't. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you're constantly it, pulling down on your if belt. It, if it fits you well, it'll stay in place. Okay. I mean, that, that's my philosophy. Um, the skirt uh, here is from Law and it's just a great basic pencil skirt. Uh, the belt itself uh, is from Banana Republic. And, you know, I've actually paired it with um, it, some brown tones. Normally people won't do black and brown together. I think it can really look fantastic, mm -hmm. especially on Donna's dark And a skin. fitted top, too. And a fitted top, exactly. And what I do is I actually like to put the collar up because it creates balance. It elongates the top half as well so that the bottom half doesn't look too long and you don't look too short-waisted. So this also is from Banana Republic. They have a great, um, great button-down collection. This is the tailored fit. And then the shoes are uh, by Ann Klein at DSW. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about thin belts. They're a little bit easier to wear because they're not quite um, cutting you so dramatically. Okay? Uh, you're going to see a lot of fashions that, uh, in magazines that include the thin belt over more bulkier things. I've I, seen that a lot. It's a very difficult, very difficult thing to pull off. And in fact, a lot of the times when they, pardon me, Donna, a lot of the times when they have this over the, the jacket, you can't see, but the stylist is actually cinching it from the back with a clip in, in a catalog or something. So an easier way to do it is to put it over a nice smooth, and you can actually open this up, just put your thin belt over a nice fitted um, fitted top like we did here mm -hmm. with this lightweight turtleneck from Gap. Um, and also, if you carry a little bit um, of a, a lower abdomen, you know, a little bit heavier down here, or if um, if you are very hippie, a nice thing to do is to throw a, a jacket over it. It gives you a little bit more versatility and a little bit more coverage so you don't feel so exposed and you still can take part in that thin belt trend. Um, so this jacket here is from Ann Taylor. Uh, Gap actually made both the pants and the turtleneck underneath. Uh, and then we have these shoes by Alfani, which are just a platform, you know, a little bit of a pointy, but a little bit of a round heel, which are really big this season. So really it doesn't matter if you do a thin or a thick, they're both trendy this, this season? Yeah. You know, you're going to see a lot of thin ones, a little bit more popular, but you still see a ton of the thicker ones. But as I said, generally speaking, thicker is more difficult to wear, especially when you're putting a different color, a contrasting color, underneath the belt. I don't see either one through belt loops. <laughs> no, you know, you can wear things through belt loops. I, th I think it looks great, you know, if you have just a nice fitted trouser mm -hmm. and a shirt tucked in. But... Again, I think you're going to see a lot more of it on the outside right. um, than you are. So if you have a pair of pants that has loops on it, you're, are you better off wearing a longer shirt and, and cinching it with a smaller belt like that one you or know, putting a thicker belt over top? You know, that's the look these days. Uh, what you're getting into, though, when you have, um, when you're putting it over like we did here and not tucking it in is you're actually creating a little bit of a longer torso. So you want to make sure you have a nice, long, lean leg mm -hmm. that extends to the floor so you don't look very torso um, long in the torso. Great, some wonderful advice. Thank you so much. Great. If you have a question for any of our midday experts, you can email us your questions to midday at